Well, hello, Irene Smith here, and today is Labor Day, and I have a tale of woe for you. I did a lot of work over the last couple of weeks doing this build for Labor Day that Malsey and I had agreed that we would do, and yesterday uh, my computer was not running well. It seemed like something was keeping it from doing its job. So, in the brilliant mind of Irene Smith, I restarted the machine, not realizing that my Labor Day build was running in House Flipper. And when I restarted it, it was all gone. So, I've done my best today to... Uh, recreate that build. I'm clearly not done, but this is going to be our project for this week. I'm going to show you some of the things now, and then we will do the rest tomorrow and Thursday. So let's turn around, and I will show you the one thing that I managed to get done today is the Dragon Inn. I know I've used that sign in the past, but this is a different Dragon Inn. So let's get started there, and then I will show you around. Basically, the idea I had was that this property would be a small town celebrating Labor Day. And we have several buildings, obviously, over here, we've got a stage where there's going to be a Labor Day show. And we've got a piano on the stage. And this is a um, restroom. There's a men's room and a ladies' room. And over there in the distance, you can see there is a children's play area which I will show you in more detail when we get to tomorrow's build. There's some more play stuff over here. There's a slide and a little house and swings. We've got a playhouse with its own little tree. It's a lilac tree or a lilac bush, I guess. Got a couple fountains here. I guess you can, I guess you can guess what type of garden I'm going for. I wasn't going to bother with the garden, but then I decided that it might be fun to see if I could get a an English garden out of this. So we'll start by going in here. Just let me pause for a moment. As I was saying, we will start by taking a look. Oh my! Oh, happy birthday! Oh, thanks, Mark. Ah, door, door slammed. Door slammed shut. I uh, heard uh, it. Uh, closing the window. I'm closing, closing the, the window. window. Yes, close the window. I was just going to show everybody the Dragon Inn, the oh. restaurant that I created. Let's go inside and see. Oh, good. That's where you get, that's where... I think I may have overburdened this game a little bit. Uh-oh. It's kind of jerky. Uh -oh. Anyway, so here is where the maitre d' stands. And just think, this is before the expansion pack. Yeah. The dining out expansion pack, that's yeah. correct. Bathroom, the bathroom no is toilets. not done. It's not finished yet. So it's just a room? It No, Mom, I'm going to... you shouldn't have watched Pleasantville last night. <laughs> yeah, right. Stairs! I saw stairs. Yes, she did, and I will show you. So we've Cake. got some desserts and stuff here. Cake. We've got all kinds of party tables wow. here. Wow. Back here is a bar. Oh, I'm not thirsty. And this is the kitchen. Ah. Ooh. Which I think looks nice. It does. Matthew, if it didn't jump think? around so much. Oh. It um, even has lights. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Me and over too. here, they've got a roast chicken, Ooh. some mashed potatoes. I want some chicken. 
Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, we had chicken for lunch today, didn't we, Matt? We did. I thought we did. That was steak. That was... Oh, right. Chicken fried steak. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking... Whoa! Oh? Uh Uh-oh is right. What the heck? It minimized. I don't know why. That was was scary. That was very scary. I thought it crashed. Me too. So upstairs is more restaurant. It's green. Yeah. What do you think? I like it. Let's go in the room. Let's go in the dining room. Wow. And we've got lots of tables here. But then, when you get out here... More tables. We've got some tables out here. Wow. And look at that. A birthday cake. Gee, I wonder wonder why that's there. I I don't don't know. know. And there's three chairs. One for Matthew, one for me, and one for Matthew's father. Matthew's father and 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 my husband. And there's a fourth one. No, there's only three chairs on that table. Uh, four. Look. One, two, three, four. One, two. Whoa. Yeah, you're right. There are. That, that, that must be Coco's seat. Yeah. Who's Coco? I'm kidding. It's Merck's chair. Yay! Merck's chair. You right. Know, I think it's that time. Well, when I said Coco, I meant the Coco that I have on the farm. I hope so. Uh, yeah. What do we always say? What do we always say? We always say that Coco is a good boy. We do. We do. But what else? <gasps> chocolate, chocolate for Mark! Mark. And, and chocolate, chocolate for, for Allie. Allie! I never forget! And whispering words! Yay! And chocolate... And, and wait, I guess... And chocolate for you! For Bomb! I feel like I'm being I feel like I'm being told what to say right now. Nah, not at all. What makes you think that? It's like what it's like working with Matthew. He tells me exactly what to say and I do it. Well, good. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so now, when we come back on Tuesday, yeah, yeah. I am going to show you apartment? that the apartments, the apartments in that apartment building across the way. Oh, okay. I like apartments. Me too. And uh Bye. Yep. I will see you. Oh, gosh. Now, as I was saying, let's go back downstairs. I don't know why I have a chair there. I'll figure it out one of these days. Now, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but if I can find the stairs, but at the front of the restaurant, over here, we have a little green dragon. And over here, we have a dragon bench. Now, a couple things I wanted to make sure and show you from outside. First of all, there's that pretty... I don't know if that was workshop or I think it's from the workshop this dragon silhouette but I think it's gorgeous and I showed you the kids playground area and I showed you this but the reason I want to come back over here for a minute you can see we've got picnic tables we've got a food cart and we've got a big grill with, oh, there's lots of corn. And I've noticed something really kind of strange in that proportions are strange. I mean, have you ever seen an ear of corn that big? I certainly haven't. I think they got their proportions wrong. Anyway, but in here is more corn. In here is some pump, are some pumpkins. And I mentioned the stage, but one thing I want to show you is, and I kind of left this there because I know I'm going to need it. You see how I, first of all, you'll notice there are some little white rectangles here. And that's because of the way it's put together. But the thing is, when I quit the game tonight after having published this video, 
and I come back tomorrow, all of the finish on those platforms is going to be gone. It's been this way as long as I can remember. I've reported it to Frozen District, and they said, oh, this must be a new problem because it never happened before. So we'll see what they do about it, if anything. Anyhow, so these are the benches for the people watching the music. We've got a bunch of fountains around here. I like fountains in this game. Not cra as crazy about the ones in the new game. Only because they don't seem to have water. We've got a merry-go-round here for the kids. And I guess that's about all I need to show you today. Now, as I said before, this is the restaurant. This building over here, first of all, it's three stories high. And this building is an apartment building. Nothing's been decorated yet, but I will quickly show you that we've got this was intended, oh, this was intended to maybe be a laundry or something like that. This is a storage area. And then, oh, it's running a little bit better now. That's good. I shouldn't have said anything. Through this door, we have an apartment, which needs to be broken up into rooms. And in this area, we've got a hallway that leads to a flight of stairs. And there is another apartment up here, back here. Again, needs to be broken up into rooms and then another flight oops i don't know why stairs are so difficult another flight and another apartment so this this building will have three apartments in it and as i said probably a laundry in the in the first floor so that is going to be our project for the rest of this week and maybe even for next week. We'll see what happens. That's a fairly good sized apartment if you think about it. Although by the time we're done, it may not work at all. We'll have to see what happens. Okay, so that is it the Labor Day part and the not Labor Day part. I wanted to have more um, booths with people that people would be selling things from, but for some reason, I've either lost those items from the workshop that I had downloaded or I'm hallucinating and I never had them in the first place. We'll see between now and the rest of this week and possibly next week we are going to fill out this area we are going to break up the apartments into rooms and fill those rooms and uh, that's about it i have to say and obvious it's pretty obvious because there's no there are no uh Word I want. There's no toilets, no sinks, no nothing in here. I didn't realize until I was about to start recording that I had never put, added a bathroom to this restaurant. So I'm going to keep you in suspense for a few more days before you find out how much profit or not profit I make. If you haven't already watched it, you should go and watch Malsey's Labor Day video. She did a wonderful job with hers. And although I felt that I did a pretty good job, um, 
I also lost it. So, better luck next time. Have a fantastic day. And on Thursday, I will be back with at least one of the apartments. Um, the walls built and the... Um, brain and the furniture and everything placed in them so enjoy your labor day um as malsey men mentioned it is my birthday today so this is going to be it for now i'll see you all on thursday <laughs>